welcome back to another video. A little bit different intro than usual, but I'm gonna be taking you through an entire day in this one video. So I was trying to be as detailed as possible about what a day looks like. Every day is a little different. I'm sure you can understand that every day is a little different just because it is still virtual school. And once and if we ever get back into in-person lectures, it will be eight to five at the dental school every single day. But for now, it's at your own pace, asynchronous lectures, whenever. So very flexible. I'm still gonna use a little bit of this video later to catch you all up on what's happened since I filmed last. It's a Tuesday today and I have a rotation for my mini rotations class, which is a selectives class through the Pathways program at University of Michigan, which I've talked about before. So if you aren't familiar, maybe go back and watch some of my older videos as well. But we are going to a dental lab, which basically is where they make the crowns, bridges, dentures, partial dentures, everything. So I'll try to film if I'm able to or allowed to there. If there's, there's a possibility that things there are directly from patients, which could be HIPAA violations. So it's just gonna depend, but I'll get as many clips as I can beforehand and after as well to take you all through today. I don't have any other in-person activities today other than most likely Bible study tonight with Christian Dental Association. And then I'm giving my mentee a tour of the school. So Michigan pairs us up with an incoming D1. They just started last week. This is their second week of classes. I've already been able to meet a lot of them at that AAWD bonfire that was a couple weeks ago that I definitely talked about in one of the last vlogs. And I also met my mentee there for the first time, but this is our formal like individual hangout, I guess. And I'm gonna give her a quick tour inside the school after I'm done with Bible study tonight. So in between this lab, I'm gonna be back probably around 12, 12.30, and then I'll have four-ish hours to do some work. And during that time, I can catch you up on what's been going on. Back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, I'm back. It's 12.20, our air conditioning is on and is very loud, so I'm sorry if there is some white noise in the background, but I'm just about to make some lunch and I'm watching Brooke Michio's latest vlog. She's one of the people I keep up with pretty much all their videos. I'm just gonna heat up some HelloFresh that I made last night. It was this one, this like really good balsamic tomato chicken pasta. Here's my shelf in the fridge if you're at all curious what I keep on hand, but yeah, this looks super good. It had some melted mozzarella on it last night. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave and eat some lunch. All right, I've changed into comfy clothes again for the time being because I have a while till I'm leaving my apartment again. I just finished eating and got my iPad out because even though it's Tuesday afternoon, I haven't really kind of planned out what needs to be done this week and next week is a break for us. So we had an exam yesterday, like I mentioned, in Perio, a midterm, so that was really like my only focus point. And then I went in and assisted on, on a restoration, so it was a restoration of 17, which is way, way, way back left. It's one of your wisdom teeth, they're third molars, and so people often get those extracted, but sometimes patients let them erupt and keep them. It just kind of depends, discussion between you and your dentist. But this patient had 17, so we did a tiny, tiny occlusal filling and a tiny buccal filling. So they weren't really big, but the accessing and the isolation was tricky. So I think that she was very appreciative to have a dental assistant have me there. And then I watched Bachelorette last night, and. It was a good time, but really didn't do anything super school heavy other than the exam. And also my podcast with Paul Goodman of Dental Nachos came out yesterday, June 28th. So if you haven't listened yet, you really should. I think that episode is like, if you're going to listen to only one of my podcasts or only a few every once in a while, like that is one to really listen to. We talk about kind of the timeline from graduating to when you're really ready to own a dental practice, what that looks like the different options for like AGD, GPR, residencies, some of the big things that are kind of facing against dentistry these days, how we can combat them, his own journey into residency, practice ownership, owning multiple practices, how he got started with dental nachos. So really recommend that you listen. It's always just at Dental Download Podcast on Instagram, and then you can just search Dental Download Podcast on Spotify or Apple or Google Podcasts or anywhere that you listen to podcasts, or you can listen directly through Anchor, which is where I upload. If I remember, I'll put the actual episode link below, but either way, you can just search it, and it will be up there, episode 65, I believe. The rotation today was pretty good. As you saw, a few random clips. We did a lecture for a little bit, and then he kind of passed around some different prosthetics. So there's fixed pros and removable pros. Fixed pros is just like it sounds. It's something that's gonna stay in place. It's not gonna come in and out of the patient's mouth. Removable pros could be like a removable partial denture that they take in and out when they're sleeping, or if they wanna eat, they'll put it in, whatever it may be, depending on kind of which teeth it is. Sometimes you need a denture for even speaking properly, so it really just depends, but went through all different kinds of appliances for that and we went through some appliances for sleep apnea that I showed you and then I got a clip of some of the process for melting a gold crown into a little like cast thing. It was hard for me to explain but that's what all the flames were and then the spinny thing that was like melting gold that was going to run into the cast that they made to be the shape of whatever the crown would be. So that was kind of everything we did. We did the lecture, got to like see a bunch of different appliances and prosthetics. We got a tour of the lab. They do a lot of digital dentistry. They kind of specialize in implants, but they do tons of different things. And they also do, of course, more traditional impressions because some cases just require that or some people just prefer to do traditional impressions these days still. At 5.30 I have Bible study like I said and then I'm giving my mentee a tour of the school around 7 so it's 12.30 right now so for the next probably 
up until maybe 4.30. I'm going to try to get some school stuff done and I also have to edit tomorrow's video since I post every single Wednesday. I have to make sure that the video is ready for tomorrow. I'm mostly done editing it. I just want to watch through it one more time and then I have to edit the little montage -y parts where I put music in. So I have to pick out the music and kind of shorten those clips. But the actual long segments like this, I've already edited all the talking parts. So it shouldn't take too much longer to edit that. But I have my iPad out here, like I said, because I'm going to go through and see what school stuff I need to do this week and today and tomorrow, kind of. That way I can give myself a long weekend, Thursday, Friday, and also we have all of next week actually off, no scheduled classes. So just trying to see if there's anything that's due this week, anything I need to get done before I can officially let myself be on break. So I'm just gonna go through my calendar, look on Canvas, look on our classes Google Calendar that our secretary makes and just make sure I'm not missing anything. As far as I know, I just have like some stuff for pharmacology and perio and behavioral science and treatment planning so four classes and then there are some lectures for the new systems class we just started genital urinary or GU is what I'll call it because that's what everyone calls it so there are some lectures for GU but I'm probably just gonna wait to watch them until after break and just be behind on like two or three because it'll stick better in my head if I save it to closer to the exam anyways is usually how I look at things so we're gonna do that and I'll check in with you all after lovely shot of me but I finished editing the video I'm just gonna go in and add some of the little subscribe bubbles that you love I'm sure they don't disrupt your viewing experience too much throughout this video and then I just export the file and then once on my desktop drag that onto YouTube to upload and you can see right now it's about two I just had a little snack. These are the best brands of pickles ever, so delish. And we don't have a dishwasher in our apartment. If anyone is ever coming here and wants to know where we lived our first year, it was fine. There's nothing extremely wrong with it, but things have just kind of broken too often and it's just old. We don't have central AC, so our rooms are very hot when we're not, even when we are using that AC unit in the living room don't have a dishwasher so that's just a little bit of an inconvenience but because of that I'm gonna put away these dishes that's one of my glamorous tasks I do multiple times a day really you just don't see those in vlogs but that's why I wanted to make this video just to kind of be more transparent of kind of how I spend my time on a week where there isn't too much going on and then I can try to do another one of these really in-depth day in my life of dental school videos during an exam week when things are a bit busier so maybe during like finals week or something or our next like midterm season probably during July or something but for now this week like I said is a little bit more chill which is cool so I do still have to get through at least one more thing for school I want to finish that farm assignment that we have to submit I can show you all what that looks like and kind of what our tasks are for that assignment once I put these dishes away since it is two I will probably start that at like three I'll probably take a break I started re-watching Pretty Little Liars yesterday which is on HBO Max if you're interested in watching it it used to be on Netflix that's where I watched it originally all the way through in high school. I watched it when it was like on air on ABC Family as a kiddo in like middle school and high school. And then I think early college or late high school, I rewatched it on Netflix and now I'm rewatching it again because it is entertaining. I really like watching shows that I've seen before or that are just like feel good shows because then you don't have to put a lot of attention into it. You can kind of have it on in the background while you're doing other things and you just don't get as invested because you kind of remember what's gonna happen so you don't feel like you have to watch the next episode you don't get as into like the binging 
is basically what I'm saying. So I would like rewatching shows that I've seen before, even, but it has to have been like several years. Like I've watched Gilmore Girls through, I think two or three full times already, but I watch it like two or three years apart every time I do. So it's still like a good viewing experience, but that's a tangent. So while this exports, I'll probably put something on the TV, have a little snack, hang out, and then do farm either while I'm watching or after I take a little bit of a break. Alrighty, I just posted a new TikTok. Again, it's just at Haley Schultz Dental. Lots of TikToks for you to check out. For TikTok, I pretty much just post whenever something pops into my head. And because it's such short form content, I'll just like be walking around campus or in clinic or something. And I'll be like, oh, I should take a video of that. And then I take it. And then that's usually all of or half of a TikTok. And then... I posted that same day or like this video I totally forgot that I took it and then when I was editing that vlog I found that clip from a few weeks ago so I posted it and it's some like footage of like what the inside of our school looks like because someone asked about that so I posted that now because I just remembered it's very much like lowest on the totem pole of my priorities and things I think about but when it pops into my head I just kind of do it all right it is 3 45 I've gotten through six of the pages on the key and I'm just about on, what page is this for me? My fifth page. And it's this gigantic table that I'm dreading. So I think I'm going to stop for today. It's not due until Thursday. And like I said earlier, today is Tuesday. So I'm going to stop because I can. And we don't have that much going on, like I've mentioned a few times in this video. So I'm going to stop right now and just hang out until 5 and I'm going to order the pizzas to be delivered for Bible study. We're meeting at my friend's house because it's pouring outside as you probably saw. So we're going to meet there. There's about 15 of us from CDA this week going to Bible study. So I will head over there, like I said, around 5-ish and then that's going to be 5.30 to 6.30 and then the tour is at 7. So I'll be back here around 8 and I will try to get some clips throughout the rest of the evening until I'm back here later. I'm back. Bible study was great. There was probably like 20 people there, half being D1s, which is so fun to see CDA growing and to see D1s interested in joining us and being our friends, being part of our community and everything. So that was great. And then the tour went really well. I was able to show her a lot of the sim lab up in the clinics, the study spaces in the school, kind of the hangout spaces. And then we sat in sim lab for a little bit and I went through some tips and kind of showed her some good prep, some bad preps, went through the grading sheets, showed her that ACE lab where we do radiology and perio and everything. So it was fun to kind of get to share everything that I had to spend so long learning and I wish someone told me. So that was really great. But now that it's about 8.30, I'm literally not going to do anything else the rest of the night. I'm just going to watch TV and hang out. So I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you all enjoyed seeing more of an in-depth look into what a single day looks like for me on a week that isn't too busy. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.